it's Cece, and today I am sharing with you my June book haul. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a June book haul or if I wanted to like drag it out over the summer and do like a huge haul at the end of the summer, but I just decided I had enough books. I didn't want to make a video that was like 30 minutes long at the end of the summer. Why not just cover them all now? Plus, I think we can all agree that here on BookTube, we all enjoy ourselves a good book haul. It's just fun. They're just enjoyable. So I'm going to jump in right now and talk about the books that I received or purchased in the month of June. So the first thing that I want to talk about was a gift and I just wanted to share with you because I think it was kind of fun. It shows how well a couple of people across the pond know me. Um, my parents' friend Steve and Allison, they've known them for like 20 years. Uh, they live in England and they have sent me gifts for most of my life. And they recently went to Japan and so they sent us a few new things while they were there and Knowing me, they sent me a book, kind of. They sent me manga. And the thing that they sent me was this. <laughs> so this is Sherlock manga, basically. That's what this is, based on the BBC series. So there's Sherlock on one side and ah, John on the other. The inside is all in Japanese, obviously, since it was purchased in Japan. But I love the BBC Sherlock show, and they know this, and so this is the gift that they chose to give to me. I think it's super fun, even though I can't read it. Looking at the images, you can still get a fairly good idea of what's going on, and I just think it's like a really cool gift, and it was really thoughtful of them, because this was like a really good gift to choose for me. And now jumping into all of the other books that I got. First up we have If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo is a YA contemporary, and it follows a girl named Amanda Hardy who is trans. She is a new girl in this school in Tennessee and she's kind of trying to keep her distance from people because something went down at her previous school that caused a lot of issues and she doesn't want those issues to happen again here. This, as I have said before, is a book about a trans character written by a trans woman which is wonderful and refreshing and such an important piece of own voices fiction. I talked about this in my June wrap-up, I talked about it in my LGBTQIA uh, a year thon wrap-up, so lots of places that I have discussed this book and I did really enjoy it, so I'm glad that I have it. So the next five books that I have, I went on Amazon, I needed to get a couple of copies of books and while I was there I just decided to find a few other used copies that were you know, a dollar, two dollars that I could grab. And I decided that I really wanted to collect a few of the books that I have on my Kindle that I wanted physical copies of. So the first book that I purchased was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I read this one on my Kindle while I was in London and super, super enjoyed it. And I wanted my own copy so that I could take it to the V.E. Schwab signing that I'm going to. And that is where this all began. I needed this book, so I bought four others. I transferred some of my tabs over from my Kindle version just so I could remember which quotes I really enjoyed. But yeah. I got this book. It was a five-star read for me. Super enjoyable. Glad I have my own copy. I also picked up two other books that I read on my Kindle and wanted physical copies of, and those were Ask the Passengers by A.S. King and Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. Ask the Passengers is about a girl named Astrid, and she is struggling with the fact that she is a lesbian. And basically what she does is she talks to passengers in the airplanes that go over her house, and she kind of tells them her problems, and she sends her love up to them. And so it's got this slight magical realism element. This book also has a lot of other queer side characters, which is cool. But I read this, super enjoyed it, had a lot of memorable moments. It's just got some beautiful writing and I really desperately wanted my own copy of it. And of course, one of my absolute favorite books of last year, Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. I also transferred my tabs over, but look at this. Look, look at this rainbow of tabs that I have put in here. This is an absolutely gorgeous book and it is narrated by a Greek chorus of the generation of gay men that were lost to AIDS and they are narrating the stories of a bunch of other queer boys in our modern day. All of these stories are very different. One of them is that two boys are trying to break the record for Longest Kiss, which was based on a true story. There's a budding romance between two boys, one of whom is trans, and that is discussed in a super interesting and just beautiful way. There is a couple that has been in a relationship for a while, and there is one boy who is gay and is going through a very, very hard time. Um, and this is just a super fast book. I read it all in one sitting, cried constantly, and I adored this book. I'm like doing a full review. It's so good. 
I just, everyone should read this book because I think it's incredibly important and such a beautiful read as well. I have two more books that I picked up on Amazon when I was purchasing Vicious and one of those was Becoming Nicole, The Transformation of an American Family by Amy Ellis Nutt. This is a nonfiction book about these identical twins, one of whom comes out as trans and it is about the family's journey as Nicole is transitioning and it just sounds very, very interesting. I've had my eye on it for a while and it was really cheap on Amazon because a bookstore had like overstocked. So yeah, but I'm really glad that I have it because I've really wanted to read this book. And the final thing that I purchased on Amazon was Golden Boy by Abigail Tartlin. The most that I know about this book is that it has an intersex main character and that there are a lot of very positive reviews. I don't know if you noticed my theme for these, but basically I decided it was Pride Month and I was allowed to buy as many queer books as I wanted. So that's what I did. I can't wait to read this. I've just read such good things. I think that this is gonna be a really great book. Also, I just have to share though, that underneath the jacket, it's like shiny and gold, which I think is very interesting, but yeah. It is a beautiful book, so I'm very glad that I have this copy especially, because I've seen some covers of this book that aren't so pretty, and I love this cover. Next up, we have the book that came in the June Royalty uh, Owl Crate box. So if you haven't gotten your Owl Crate yet, somehow, you don't wanna know what was in there, I'm about to show you the book that was in there. Uh, and that book is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This book is supposed to have a very, like, princess bride kind of feel. It's supposed to be very, very funny. It is, like, an alternate fantasy retelling of Lady Jane Grey. It sounds hilarious, it's getting a lot of great reviews, and I'm dying to read it. It just sounds like such a fun book, and... Oh, oh, and the dedication here. Someone told me to read the dedication. I'm so glad that they did. Okay, I'm gonna read the dedication to you because I think this, like, this gave me an idea of the kind of humor that you would be getting going into this book. So there are two lines. Uh, for everyone who knows there was enough room for Leonardo DiCaprio on that door, and for England, we're really sorry for what we're about to do to your history. <laughs> I can't wait to read this book. I'm so glad that this is the book that came in Owl Crate because I'm excited to read it. And the last two books I have here were a split-second decision to run to a used bookstore. I wasn't really gonna buy anything and then I saw these and, well, that all collapsed. So the first thing that I got was 20th Century Ghosts by Joe Hill. This is a collection of short stories by Joe Hill, who, if you don't know, is Stephen King's son and I really, really like his writing style. I read Horns by Joe Hill last year and I've been really eager to get more books. I really, really want to read Heart Shaped Box. Like, I really, really want to read it. But these are just supposed to be some really creepy horror stories from Joe Hill in the 20th century and I'm very excited to see how his style works in a short story format, so. Yeah, excited to pick this up eventually. And the final book that I have here was a completely random find, and I'm so glad that I saw it, and that is All the Birds in the Sky, and this is by Charlie Jane Anders. This is a new release. It just came out this year. I don't even remember which month, but it's been on my anticipated releases. And this was at the used bookstore, this, like, beautiful copy for $4. And that is when my resolve broke, and I got this book. I've heard this is really, really weird. It's like sci-fi, almost magical realism-y. Basically the most common review I've heard of this book is weird. It's a weird book and that really intrigues me. It's split between two lead characters and the lead female character is a witch. Not enough witch books in the world, so that is another reason I was curious to pick this up. It looks like a mix of like science and magic. I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm really hoping it's good because it was really cheap and that excited me. Okay, so these ooh, are all the books that I purchased in June. It is 10 books, but I honestly did not spend that much. Pretty much, I mean, I spent almost no money on these to be honest, so I'm feeling okay about it. Like, used books, gifts, and gift card. Like, that's that's what that stack is. So, I don't know. I don't feel bad about it. I think it's a nice stack. I'm very pleased with everything I have. If you have read any of these books, please let me know down below what you thought of them, and let me know what your favorite book that you purchased in the month of June was. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!